Mary Warren, how came you to this turn? Has Mr. Proctor threatened you for this deposition? No, sir. Has he ever threatened you? No, sir. Has he threatened you? No, sir. Then you tell me. You sat in my court, callously lying, when you knew people would hang by your evidence. Speak! I, I did, sir. How were you instructed, your wife? You ought to know the goddamn's all liars! And I'll tell you this, you were lying now, or lying in the court, and in either case, you've just committed perjury, and you will go to jail for it. You cannot lightly say you lied, Mary. Do you understand that? I cannot lie no more. I am with God. I am with God. Sit you down, children. Your friend, Mary Warren, has given us in which she swears she never saw familiar spirits, apparitions, nor any manifest of the devil. And she claims as well that none of you saw these things either. Children, the law based on the Bible, and the Bible writ by Almighty God. Did the practice of witchcraft and describe death as the penalty thereof. Likewise, children, the law and the Bible, them all bear as a false witness. Now then, it doesn't escape me. This deep position may have been devised to blind us. It may well be that Mary Warren has been conquered by the devil, who sends her here to distract our sacred purpose. And if so, our neck won't break for it. If she speaks true, I bid you now drop your guile and pretense. For a quick confession, we'll go easy. Abigail Williams, rise. Is there any truth to this? No, sir. Children, a very hard bit when I place into your souls until your honesty is proven. Do either you change positions or do you force me to? Hard question. I had not to change, sir. She lies. You still go on with us. I sir. Mr. Danforth, what craft would this girl to turn herself about? What made Mary Warren gain you a hard question and worse? You are charging Abigail Williams or marvelous cool plot to murder. Do you understand that? I do, sir. I believe she means to murder. This child would murder your wife? It is not a child. Now hear me, sir. In the sight of this congregation, she would twice this year for the other this here meeting house for laughter during prayer. What's this? The laughter during prayer? Excellence, she was under Tichuba's power at that time, but she is solemn. Quiet, man! Continue, Mr. Proctor. Mary, now tell the governor how you danced in the woods. <laughs> Your Excellency, this man! In a moment, sir! What is this dance? Abigail leads the girls to the woods and they have danced there. Nay, your honor, this Mr. Paris discovered them himself in the dead of night. There's the child she is. Paris! I can only say so. I never saw any of them naked and when you discovered them dancing in the woods. Abigail, do you deny it, Mr. Paris? I do not, sir. But I never saw any of them make it. But she had danced. Right. Excellency, will you permit me? Pray. You see, you say you never saw no spirits, Mary, or never threatened or afflicted by any manifest of death or the devil's angels. No, sir. And yet, when people accused of witchery confronted you with cop, you were faith. Saying your spirits choked you? That were pretense, sir. I cannot hear you. Pretense, sir. But you did turn cold, did you not? I myself picked you up many times in your skin where I see. Mr. Danforth. What do you mean, sir? 
I saw that many times. She only pretended to faint, Your Excellency. They're all marvelous pretenders. Hey, can she pretend now? Now? Why not? Now there are no spirits attacking her, for none in this room is accused of witchcraft. So let her turn herself cold now. Let her pretend she is attacked now. Let her faint. Faint! I Prove to us how you pretended in the court so many times. I cannot faint now. Can you not pretend it? I have no sense of it. Why? What is lacking now? I could not do it. Might it be that here we have no afflicting spirit loose, but in the court there were some? I never saw no spirits. Then see no spirits now, and prove to us that you can fate by your own will, as you claim. I could not do it. Then you will confess, will you not? It were tacky spirits that made you faint. No, sir. Your Honor, this is a trick to blind the court. It's not a trick. I, I used to faint because I thought I saw spirits. Thought you saw them? But I did not, Your Honor. How could you think you saw them unless you saw them? I don't know how, but I did. I heard the other girls screaming, and you, Your Honor, you seem to believe them. It were only sport in the beginning. Then the whole world cries, spirits, spirits. I promise you, Mr. Danforth. I only thought I saw them, but I did not. Well, surely Your Excellency is not taken by the simple lie. Abigail, I bid you now search your heart and tell me this is the word of child. God is so precious. And his vengeance is terrible on them to take life for our cause. Might it be these spirits are illusion only? Some deception that may cross your mind when. What? This is a base question, sir. Child, I will have you consider. Mr. Danforth. I have been hurt. I have seen my blood running out, and I've been near to murder every day because I've done my duty pointing out the devil's people. And this, this is my reward? To be mistrusted, denied, and questioned like a child? I do not mistrust you. What you Get out of them! 
past two weeks. You have seen the devil, have you not? Uh. You have seen the devil. You have made a comeback with Lucifer, have you not? You're goddamn liars. I cannot hear you. What do you say? You will confess yourself or you will hang. I say you will hang if you do not open with me. What say you? And remember the angel Raphael. Do that which is good and... Wait. I need to spread it. Will you confess this power? She's gonna come down. She's walking to me. Will you speak? Together. 